Hey everyone, welcome to the Cracker Cafe. My name is Cracker. Today, I'm going to be serving you up a guide to the items of the Binding of Undertale, and I'm also going to include the expansion to the Binding of Undertale. I, it's a little confusing because technically the Binding of Undertale is for the expansion of Isaac, which is Afterbirth, but basically the Binding of Undertale mod was made for Rebirth and Afterbirth, and somebody came in with um, the original creators of Under Binding Undertale's permission and created an expansion to their mod, adding a few more little features like, you know, more skinned items and uh, new skinned bosses and I, th I think a new character as well. But anyway, I know I found myself countless times playing this because I really do love playing this mod so very much. I'm going to go to an item and I'm like, oh, I know this item in Undertale, this is cool. But then I realize... I don't know what the item does, or what it's what it's been replaced with, essentially. Uh, like, for example, the one-up mushroom is replaced by the determination swirl, which, when you see that, you're thinking, oh, determination, cool, I like this, but you don't know what it does. So, this guide is here to show you what all the items do and to help clarify, I mean, there probably will be some spoilers both for Undertale and both for Isaac, for, you know, some because some of the more advanced items that you get through unlocks will be found here. But, I mean, if you don't care about that, then you just want a guide for this. I mean, when you're pretty just starting this out, you really don't need a guide for this per se, because you kind of want to figure out everything for yourself. But I know most of the people who have played this a lot don't want to have to worry about figuring it out, and especially stuff from, like, the uh, Devil Room that costs hearts. You don't want to sit there and be like, Oh, I don't know if I want this or not. It's cost two hearts, but I have no fucking clue what it does. Uh, you know, this way you don't have to agonize over it. And I've also seen countless people ask on forums and stuff, like, What the fuck do these items do? What are they replacing? Ah. You know. So this is for all of you. Everybody who wants to know what does what. So I'll go ahead and pop right into the game here. Because I already have it set up so I can show. We'll go ahead and start with the trinkets first. Now, uh, you'll see all the trinkets are here. Um, the person who did this, I had a good laugh at this. I still love it, even now. Have replaced all of the items here. These are all basically worms. Spare two of these things. Which is the legs and the little uh, post-it notes. But all the pasta you see here basically represent each of the worms. Now, let's start here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pick up the one closest to me. This one is the ramen noodles, zip zip, which are replaced by, here. oh yes, that is the hook worm, and the hook worm, basically all it does is they shift like this, and it gives you plus 10 range too, but yeah, this is basically the hook worm, your ramen noodles equal sign hook. So there's that one. These are the Rattel Noodles, whoop, and as you can see they go in circular patterns, um, which these, the Rattel Noodles replace the Ringworm, which it does, just so I'm not crazy. Okay, so they just travel in a spiral pattern, simple as what you see here. No other buffs. These are the Fettuccine Noodles, which replace the Flatworm, from what I remember, right? Makes sense, right? Flatworm, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Give them an oglong appearance, as you see here. And it also will increase the knockback. Um, legs. <laughs> I don't know if it'll trigger while I'm here, but this replaces Mom's toenail. And basically, what will happen is randomly, Metaton's foot will come down and smush something on the screen. And I'll just kind of hang out here for a minute. Still waiting. Oh, there it is. There's Metaton's foot. Okay, so now you know what that looks like, which is amazing. Now these over here, got our, our linguini noodles, and these will be replacing uh, the whip worm, which the whip worm just increases shot speed by half. So it just goes, okay, well that's that, that's a lot faster than it was before. That's, that's pretty freaking fast, so there's that one. These are <laughs> the kabatapi noodles which they are a wiggly pattern, which represents the wiggle worm. And that's all they do, they just travel in a wave-like pattern. Okay, and rochetti noodles, which these 
are the ones that go in and out, which I think is the pulse worm. Yes, it is the pulse worm. On these, do. Oh, they just pulsate in size. Doesn't affects the hitbox, doesn't change damage. So, there's that. I think we gotta grab these right, yeah, Kabatapi. Okay, and then we got a tricolor pasta noodles, which is the rainbow worm. And every three seconds, you just get a random worm effect, basically. So you or a random pasta effect, I guess you could say in this case. Oh. And then lastly, we are going to have the. I think it's the lazy worm, right? Uh, yes, it looks like we are going to run into the Lazy Worm. So the Lazy Worm... <laughs> it's also known as the Pool Noodle. It decreases your shot speed, but it will increase your range and your tier height. As you can see, they're going a little bit higher here. Now these, right here... Punch cards. This is actually the in-store credit. And what these do, uh, as long as you hold the trinket, all the items in the shop will cost zero cents. However, once you buy something, then they just disappear. So, um, and I think there's one more here. One more. Let me see. Oh, yeah. So I did forget one, which was the spaghetti noodles, which represents the tapeworm. This gives you two times your range up, and it gives you... Uh, half tier height. So as you can see, they are like way the fuck over my head. Here's an item I almost forgot, which was the Chaos card. Looks like normal, one of the other cards, but it is known as the Knife. Of course, as I got knives. And I'll go ahead and toss it. Chaos card. Okay, so here's what Determination looks like. This is going to be your 1-up, so all it does is give you an extra life, just like the 1-up does. And it also flies around like the one up does. Though there isn't any animation to it, it still looks nice. Um, just for the, so you can see the tool tech, so I'm going to pick it up again. You're filled with it! So much determination. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the virus, which actually has been changed to the determination syringe, which just says it's sticky. And all it does is, you know, poison people just like the virus does. So next up is going to be the Glam Burger, which is essentially lunch. It just gives you an additional heart container, like so. Feel so glamorous. Oh yes. Okay, and up next we have dinner, which has been changed into the Monster Candy, which is just another HP up. Next up is the Star Fate, which has been, which has replaced dessert, which just gives you an HP up. But you also feel like a star, too. Alright, next up is Breakfast, which has been replaced by the Dog Residue, which still is HP up. <laughs> it's literally garbage! Oh my god! But yeah, HP up, Dog Residue, very nice. Okay, and our next replacement is the Spider Donut for Rotten Meat. Made by spiders for spiders. Hey! But it just gives you HP, is all it does. Alright, next up we have the ballet shoes, which replace mom's heels. And they do the same thing as. You know, I should make I should make it clear that the items are just reskinned. They always do the same thing that the normal items do. Range up. And our next item is going to be the Necronomicon, which has been changed into the fight button. But it still has the Necronomicon effect, so just remember that. But yes. This is what it looks like. Very, very nice. So scary. Oh my god. Okay, and our next replacement item is for Tammy's head, which has turned into Tammy's head, conveniently enough, which just shows a tear burst. Nothing too crazy. But it's kind of nice anyway. Hoi! I'm Tam. The next item we have here is the Dapper Bloop, which is replacing mom's bra, thankfully. I could appreciate that. And it even has a new animation of just Bluke coming on the screen. Um, and in case you haven't seen it before, all it does is do a mass fear to every monster in the room. Oh, it's so awesome, right? And you get to wear it. Oh, oh, so amazing. I love having that hat. 
Alright, next I am going to be uh, Butterscotch Cinnamon Pie, which replaces the Yum Heart. And actually, all it does is just restore the hit points. Just one, one heart container, like the Yum Heart does. Next item is going to be Steven, which I know probably quite a few of you may be scratching your head at this moment because you're like, oh my god, but the tough glove was like this black outline with a red box around it. Well, this is part of the reason I got the expansion for the Binding of Undertale mod, because it actually fixes this and it shows up as a tough glove <laughs> this time. But, uh, you know, all it does is just increase your damage, so nothing too special about that. Actually, it's very special, because damage is always a great, wonderful thing. Alright, and our next item is going to be the Torn Notebook, which behaves like the Book of Shadows, basically. It says it's got it legible scrawls. If you've played the game and you know this would be Metaton the Notebook, I believe. So this item you're looking at here is the Ladder, and it looks kind of like a, like a window pane. It's kind of strange, I know. But it basically, it just goes over holes. You know how the ladder works, I'm sure. Um, if I can find a hole, if I can walk over. Okay, so I had to go all the fuck way down this node. But anyway, this is how it works. It's like magic, yo, just like the ladder. But it, at least it's the piece of glass. So these are the x-ray glasses, which have been converted into Toriel's, at least I would assume, is Toriel's cloudy glasses. And all it does is give you the normal x-ray vision you would get from finding a secret room, which maybe I can find one real quick here. Oh, see, there's one. Bam. Bam. Walk right in there. Bam. All kinds of crazy shit. Okay, so this here is the mark, and it basically has been replaced by the 999 thing, as I'm sure you've probably seen Kara do. And all it means is <laughs> no mercy and it just increases your damage by a very significant amount. So this here is the Pact, which has now been converted to System Information 963, and, you know, just as usual the Pact, it gives you damage tiers up, damage up, tiers up, and two slots upon pickup, which my HP's too full, but you get the idea for that one. This is the Lord of the Pit, which has been replaced by the Dummy Body, which allows you to become the dummy, and as you can see, my lower half has indeed become that of the Mad Dummies, which is quite fun. So here we have the Six Souls, which basically replaces the Nail, and allows you to become all-powerful, which means you turn into Asriel. And you do, you know, more, more damage, gives you a soul heart. Lots and lots of fun. But yes, it does transform you. Temporarily, of course. You know, you come back after you're, after you're done with the room. This is the item button, which has replaced the Book of Sin. And all it does is just make, make items like the Book of Sin does. But it's just a cool button now. Yeah! So this is has replaced Mom's Contacts, and this is the Metal Hair Gel, which basically gives you something like Metaton's Eye, and occasionally will fire Petrifying Tears. So this is the originally the Guardian Angel, but has since been replaced by Little whims -a lot which acts like the Guardian Angel and just simply protects you from shots. I love that protection. Yeah! So this here is Mom's Knife, which basically does not look considerably different from the real Mom's Knife, but it does have a different description. It's just called Knife, and it just says about time. And I don't, I guess I have two of them now because I picked up two of these, but... So what we have here is the reset button, which has come from the Forget Me Now, and when I use it, it's going to reset the uh, stage. But just to show you how it does... Uh, and there we go. And we're back. Here again. And this is going to be your bum friend, which has been replaced by a tiny Temmy, which is adorable. It also says Hoi, much like her head does. What we have here is a replacement for the candle, which is actually fire magic, which just means you just have reusable flames, like, like so. Very nice, very nice. So you may have seen me with this earlier. This is the mercy button, which has replaced Dad's key, and... Naturally, it just 
works like dad's key and opens up all the doors, which there's none in here to open, but you get the idea. This is the meat item, which has been replaced by the legendary hero and gives you HP and attack up, and also is conveniently shaped like Metaton's body. Sort of. It kind of looks like a sword, actually, but I think it was supposed to be Metaton's body. This is the mom's eyeshadow, which has been replaced by the MDT brand Cute Juice, which just makes you fire charm tears. Uh, can't exactly see it because I got the stupid knife with me, but anyway, it does certainly fire charm tears. So this is the iron bar, which has been replaced by the MTT brand anime powder, which uh, basically just fires concussive shots on occasion. And it makes you feel more sundry. So this is the Cyan Soul, which basically replaces the Nod Leaf. And you must remember blue stop signs. Hasn't changed the sprite for the uh, stopped version, but still a cool item nonetheless. And I also have a raccoon tail from the original item. So this looks very similar to the ceremonial robes. They're just colored another shade of blue, which means they are the Riverman's robes. -la -la. And, well, there's no visual change. Most of the time you won't see a visual change because the character skins typically overwrite most of the items. There's only a few that still show up. I don't know all of them top of my head, but you'll definitely notice if they show up for sure. So this is the Stained Apron, which replaces the Placenta and gives you the regeneration and HP up, much like the placenta does. So this has replaced the Pyromaniac with Pyropemaniac, hot, hot, hotter. So very, very, very hot, and so the Pyro likes it. And I don't think there's anything visually different other than the fact that you can blow yourself up and totally be cool with it, or maybe be hot with it. This is the replacement for the Abaddon item, which is the soulless item. It simply says, since when were you in control? Which I am sure that is alluding to Kara. Or something like that. It looks pretty creepy, that's for damn sure. This is the Dust Touch item, which as you can see has turned my head into Papyrus's head. Which is a little, little weird. Uh, in the original mod, it was known as the Bone Zone, and would say "nyeh," like Papyrus' speech. But in this one, with the expansion, it changes to Papyrus' regular attack. Here is an absolutely normal attack. And of course, we all know it's not absolutely normal at all. But yes, you will have to walk around looking like Papyrus for all t of time until you change this item out. So what you're seeing now is the Trinity Shield, which has been replaced by the Green Soul, and of course it's for, um, resemble very heavily Undyne's fight from the shield you got to use during there. It definitely looks very different from the normal item, which is pretty cool. And the effects on it look quite nice, actually, as I rotate it around. It looks very well done, which makes me happy. This is also from the uh, expansion for the mod, so... Again, I will plug and say you should probably get it, because it really does add some nice flavor. This is Metaton's Face Steak, which replaces the Magic Scab, which gives you an HP up and ratings plus 700, which equates to luck plus one, really. Okay, so what you see here is Fire Mind. This changes your tears to fireballs, basically. I don't remember what they look like in the previous version, but yeah, it's basically fire magic with flaming tears. What you're seeing here is the replacement for Little Brimstone, which is essentially the Gaster Blaster from Sands. Um, but they operate the same, just look very different. When you pick it up, it still says Little Brimstone, so that hasn't been changed. But boy, is it fun to have a bunch of these. I really feel like Sands right now. Oh. -ho -ho. So this is the replacement for Isaac's Heart, which still says Isaac's Heart, uh, but we all know what heart it really is. The Red Heart. OMG. 
This is Sissy Longlegs, which is replaced by Muffet's pet. Oops. Says time for dinner, dearie. Which these basically just go around with poop spiders. The more the merrier. They look so cute too. It, sort of. I imagine I remember Muffet's pet being a lot bigger, but you'll just have to deal with the mini version. Of it. And this is the replacement for How to Jump, which, as you can see, still works the same. And it's the Blue Soul, and you're blue now. Which I'm sure you remember this from Papyrus's little battle. You learned how to jump there, so you can learn how to jump in this game, too. So what I'm holding now is the ACT symbol, which replaces the blank card, which, if you use it before, it just simply mimics the effects of a held card or rune, but instead I'll just, I'll just end up walking around the room with ACT over my head, because I don't have either one of those. This is the replacement for the box of spiders, which has basically become the teapot of spiders. Don't look so blue. Which just allows you to make spiders everywhere. Oh my god. So amazing. So this is the replacement item for the jar, which allows you to store hearts. It still is labeled the same, the jar save your life. But essentially it looks like the heart container that Jem you probably saw in the fight with Asgore. This is the replacement for the butter bean, also known as a sans whoopee cushion. And all you really can do with it is just fun. No surprise there. So this is the orange soul, which replaces the Taurus item. And all you do is just move around, gain power, a la the, uh, the Taurus. So I don't think it will work in this room. So here I am trying out the Taurus. Let's see if I can get myself to enrage here. See if there's any different effect. I don't think there is, but it never hurts to find out. Ow. Ow. Oh, leave me alone. Ow. Okay, so there is not a different effect. It's just me running around the room. Like the normal thing. So what you're looking at here is a replacement for Judas's Shadow, which has been changed into the Power of Neo. Can't be a star without an audience. Now, to see that's full effect, I need to go get my ass beat, so give me one moment. Here, this should work well enough. And now I have become Metaton Neo, who, uh, is, is very powerful. I'm certain of this, yes. That is the power of the Neo. BAM! What you're looking at here is the Polaroid, which, funny enough, has been replaced with a bloody knife because it's there to represent the genocide route. So, basically you pick that up and you go stab everything in the cathedral. I mean, you're going to do that anyway. On the flip side, the negative looks like a dove with an aura because it is the pacifist route, which means you're going to hug everybody to death and shield, which really, we all know you're not going to do that. So this is the replacement for soy milk, which is actually Sans's eye. And if you know soy milk well, it just gives you crazy, crazy fast tears like I have here. And it just says, Sans' eye, you're going to have a bad time. Of course you're going to have a bad time. And it's very unlikely that you'll ever see this item, as this is the Godhead, which requires a hell of a lot of jumping through hoops, meaning you have to beat everything on hard with the loss, which is almost one of the hardest things to do. But the Godhead has been replaced with the legendary artifact that typically is stolen by the dog in the game. That <laughs> says absolutely useless, but it is far from that. Look at all these cool, shiny tears. So neat. Okay, so this is going to be the replacement for the boomerang, which is the, <laughs> the power placement, which kind of looks like a croissant. I mean, it just does that. Power bracelet. Oh, nope. That's just a croissant. Never mind. This is going to be your potopo chisps. Is that what I'm saying? Po potato chisps. Yes, this will be your potato chips. Chisps. God, I can't say that for save my life. And it replaces a snack, which is the little dog biscuit looking thing. Yes, potato chisps. I can do this. This is the item that replaces the crack jacks, which is the. Tem Flakes box. Balanced breakfast, cardboard flavored. Yum, yum. Hopefully, Tem Flakes aren't actually cardboard. 
So this is what replaces the 8-inch nails, which are Undyne's magical arrows, which... Oh boy, they, they really do make a mess after a while. Can I just go? Ah! Yes, they are quite awesome, though. I do like these. I also like to joke that they're actually upvotes as well. So this is the item normally Alphys carries when she first starts off, which is the Incubus. Uh, however, it has been changed to Metaton, which just says, Hello, darling. Um, it is overpowered as fool. This is the Yellow Soul, which has replaced the Dead Eye effect. And it just says, Accuracy brings power. Which is very nice. Can't really, I don't think I can show off the effect here. Let me just go to another room and see if there's any different effect here. Okay, so it does start to glow, but I'm pretty sure that is what it normally does anyway. So what this is, is the purple soul, which replaces the tractor beam. As you can see, the little beam in front of me here, it's... I think it just changes the color of the tractor beam, is really all it does. And it just says, purple is a better look on you. Which is definitely Muffet's words. This is the replacement for the Spear of Destiny, which, of course, is replaced by the Spear of Justice, which is... All Undyne's weapon. Of course, I can only have one, but it is quite, quite a fun item. Nah. So this is the replacement for the farting baby, which has been replaced by a floating whoopee cushion. Never stops being funny. You're damn right, it never stops being funny. Nothing like a good whoopee cushion. What you're looking at here is a replacement for the GB bug, which has been replaced for with wingdings. How appropriate, as Gaster is the one to unlock this. Talking hands. Oh yeah, now I got two of them going. Cool. So this is the bag of leaves, which has replaced the black powder, which basically allows you to drop leaves everywhere, but once you make a circle with them, it makes the symbol of the, uh, the Undertale world, I guess. I don't know. World for me would be exactly home or new home, <laughs> I suppose. But it looks much better than than the Satan symbol, at least in, in my opinion. I prefer the Undertale symbol. You can make little ones too, which is kind of nice. But uh, know that it only does damage in the symbol. The leaves themselves won't do a damn thing unless you make the circle. So this is the load button, which replaces the glowing hourglass. And once you use it, it just returns to the previous room, so... Whoop! That's like nothing ever happened! Oh my god, the leaves are still there! <gasps> Madness! So this thing I got floating around behind me in the back there is the milk, which has been replaced by the golden flower tea, which is kind of awesome, because it accompanies Ascor's character when you play him. It's his favorite, after all. And just like the milk, when you get hit, it will spill everywhere, increasing the power of your tears. Let's just go spill it for fun. It kind of looks like pee, though. See? It kind of looks a lot like pee. But really, it's tea. It's not pee. It's definitely tea. Last, but certainly not least, is the Mega Blast item, which is also one of the toughest games, toughest things to unlock in the game, which basically gives you the blast of the holy shoo this is amazing of the god of hyper death slash asriel and i don't know how long this is going to go for but it's pretty freaking amazing you will thoroughly enjoy it hyper goner purge the timeline and there's nothing like a, this blast to purge the damn timeline that's for sure i can even propel myself across the room doing this this is pretty convenient Definitely even a method of travel. Although, for some reason, my Spear of Justice is just kind of hanging out there. But we're just going to pretend we don't see that. Alrighty, everyone. That's all the items. I hope this is as helpful for you as it probably will be for me. Because how you will likely come back to my own video to reference this stuff. I'm going to try to squeeze all of it down in the description if I can. So you really don't have to fish through the video for the thing that you want. You know, I'll put timestamps, all that stuff that would be very helpful for you. Uh, I'll also put links to the mods so that you can go download them immediately because these mods are freaking sweet. 
So, I thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll be uploading videos every Monday and Thursday, streaming on Friday and Saturday. And if you'd like to leave me a tip, please be sure to like, comment, or subscribe down below. And I'll see you when the cafe opens again. Have a good one.